I am Ellen Massaro Kick. Uh, I was born here in Worcester. I was baptized here at St. Mary's, made my first communion, was confirmed here, uh, was married here, attended St. Mary's School, and I was on the very first parish council, I think it was in 1969. And I'm going to tell you, I really did not know until I was 80 years old that I had a lot of adversity in life. I didn't, I didn't realize that, and the way I found out, my husband was on his deathbed. He was talking to the next door neighbor, and they were talking about life and the things that occur in life. And Joe said, well, take Ella, for instance. She's had so much diversity in her life. I don't know how she came out thinking so positively. I thought about that and I thought, now what was my adversity? So I'm going to tell you what I came up with, what I think my adversity was. First of all, I was born of a non-Catholic mother to a non-practicing Catholic father who also was not a family man. But we did go to, my sister and I and brother did go to St. Mary's School because we lived in Little Italy here in Worcester and the neighbors and, every, and grandparents put pressure on my mother that we had to come to St. Mary's. So that's where I met Sister Jean. She was my second grade teacher. I started here in the second grade. And she told us that we could not wear the same shoes to school uh, to church on Sunday that we wore to school all week. So Phyllis, my sister and I, went down to the welfare, which was across the street from the old Kenyon Smith Hospital on South Beaver Street, and Mrs. Plank ran the welfare. So we told her what Sister Jean said. And she said, forget Sister Jean, I'm not giving you any shoes because the shoes you're wearing are good enough. So I came to school crying. I said, Sister Jean, we can't get shoes from Miss Plank. And she put her arm around me and she said, Ella, don't worry about that. Life is going to get better for you. for you. All you need to do is talk to Jesus and talk to his mother. She said, you'll get along in life if you remember that. Talk to Jesus and talk to his mother. Well, I said, that sounds good to me. I can do that. So uh, that's what we did. We, li uh, we lived in a two-room shack. We only had a, kitch a kitchen and a bedroom. There were four kids. And uh, Phyllis and I had to go outside in the wintertime to get to open up the doors that were down on the ground that opened up to the cellar to go to the toilet. Sometimes in the wintertime, it froze up. We had hard times. And... Uh, so we lived like that till I was in the eighth grade. But uh, also when I was a child starting in the summer after my fifth grade, uh, we had to go work for Amish people, picking green beans and whatever else they had to pick. We loved going there because it was like Thanksgiving every day because those women gave us a big, beautiful meal. And see, we at home, our stove didn't have an oven to it, so we never had anything baked. I didn't have a birthday cake till I was 18 years old. And so it, th things weren't too good at home. And my mother was always pawning me off onto some relative or someone. And I, uh, well, we picked potatoes also in the summer, in in the fall of the year, till I was uh, till I got to the seventh grade, and then in the seventh and eighth grade, I lived with Sylvia. She had a grocery store on the south west corner of Palmer and um, Rebecca Street. See, we lived in Little Italy. So I lived with Sylvia, and I was going to St. Mary's School, and I was in the eighth grade. And Sister Maria said we had to choose what we were going to do in high school. Sylvia asked me what I did in school. I said, well, I selected secretarial work to go to high school. Well, she said, you're not going to be a secretary. Well, I said, but I only had three choices. I could be a secretary, I could be a home, go, take home ec, 
or I could take college prep. I said, I didn't take college prep because I don't have any money to go to college. I know that. She said, well, you're going to be a nurse, and I'm going to pay for it. Oh, well, in that case, yes, I'll be a nurse, and if you're going to pay for it, I'll be a nurse. I told my mother that, and my mother said, oh, that is so good. And she said, you're going to go to St. John Hospital in Cleveland. And the reason I was going to go there is because I had a sister who died at the age of three. She had leukemia, and my mother didn't have the money to pay for medical care. So the neighbor said, go see the priest. And so Father Gallagher took my mother and my sister up to St. John Hospital. They took care of her and took care of my mother while she was there. And she thought those nurses and doctors were great. So I went up there. But the problem was Sylvia died when I was uh, in the ninth grade and she didn't leave any messages that she was gonna pay for me. So I had to get a job. So Phyllis and I worked at Matthew's Candy Store but then in the middle of the 10th grade, the building got sold and uh, we lost our job. So then I went to see Mrs. Z, who was an Italian, born in the same part of Italy that my grandmother was born. And I told her I was gonna be a nurse and I wanted to work there. And I was 15 years old and she said, well, if I would agree to live there, which my mother was really grateful for, and uh, I would have to get up in the middle of the night to clean the delivery room, the operating room, emergency room, whatever. And then I'd get up in the morning and cook breakfast for the patients, but it was only 25 beds. So I worked there uh, in the um, junior and senior year of high school. And then I went to St. John Hospital and I graduated and then I got married and I had uh, two children. And then when I was 36 years old and my husband was 39, he died unexpectedly and left me with uh, two kids. And uh, I went back to school because I was working at the Worcester Hospital. They didn't pay any money. I couldn't have lived on what they gave me. So I went to school and got a, a degree. And then I, uh, worked for the state for a while. And then I left Worcester. I went to the University of Cincinnati to teach because they were recruiting me. I was in gerontological nursing. There were none of those around in those days. And uh, I was the first one at the Ohio State University to get my master's in gerontological nursing. Okay, so um, I was able to manage my family and uh, we got along very well, my two children. But when I was, um, oh, maybe 47 or so, my brother and his wife both died within nine months of each other. And I had to give up that good job I had in Cincinnati that I really loved. Uh, I came home uh, to take care of my uh, sister-in-law and my then nine months later my brother died unexpectedly and then I got two more kids they were in high school though and uh, anyhow those kids got graduated and then when I was 60 uh, I married Joe and he's the one that let me know that I had adversity in life. But here's what I want to leave you with. I didn't know I had that adversity, and I didn't know how I got through it. But then I was thinking, Sister Jean said, talk to Jesus and talk to his mother, and everything will be okay. And, you know, that's what I did all those years. I talked to Jesus, and I talked to his mother. And... That was my faith, and it got me through it. So if I leave anything with you today, I want to tell you, send the kids to the Catholic school and talk to Jesus and talk to his mother. Mm -hmm.